Okay, I wanted to make a video of my Taurus fan conversion on my 75 Pro Street Vega. <clears throat> and you can see that I had to relocate the radiator. I actually added a sub, well, a cross member in there to take up the space of that. Uh, I cut down the fan, made my own shroud out of a couple aluminum baking pans and polished them up and uh, had to add a high amp alternator and bought a I think it's a Hayden 3654 fan controller but uh, the fan was basically 35 bucks at a junkyard I still got to do some cleaning up in here because it's quite an uh, ordeal cutting away and fabricating a lot of stuff cleaning up the wiring and stuff, but uh, uh, let's see, the control unit was uh, basically 550 from uh, Amazon because they wanted to give me 40 bucks free for starting a new membership, which was great. I think it was a Chase Visa card or something like that. Most expensive thing was the alternator which I think I bought uh, for like 70 something bucks on eBay, it's supposed to be 105 amp but I just wanted to show the uh, potential of the Taurus fan I think it was out of 91 to 95 Taurus Wagon 3.8 so let me get this going here okay that's basically the baking pan, or one of them, that I got that they were throwing away at work 18 by 24, pretty thick uh, aluminum seemed to do the job for me Okay, you can see I don't have all the controls hidden or all the wiring hidden right now because I wanted to test this out. All right. Well, I've set my cockpit up with some buttons that I wanted to do here. Let's turn the baby on. Okay. Now that is the on button for the fan. This is actually the override or the air conditioning switch. And you should be able to hear this thing fire up. is at low speed. Let me stop this and start it up on high speed. Okay, now we're ready for the high speed, which I have to actually have to bypass on the controller. When the car is running, the low speed turns on at 180, or when I hit the bypass or the override, you know, the air conditioning switch. Uh, the high speed will actually kick on at 10 degrees high or 190 degrees, or whatever I set the controller to, but here is the high speed. which does push, push out some major CFMs. Do it one more time here, that's high speed. But I think it's a worthwhile investment. Well, let's see how it runs uh, a 90 degree day right now. It's still kind of rainy and wet in about 50, so. Hopefully that gives you some idea of the potential, potential of the Taurus fan.